वेलकम टू डायनामिक पॉन्ट्री ग्रुप आई एम संदीप कुलकर्णी वेलकम यू टू दिस स्मॉल वीडियो ऑन इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ कार्बन एडिटिव इन द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ डक्टाइल आयरन सो लेट अस स्टार्ट द प्रेजेंटेशन फॉर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग गुड क्वालिटी ऑफ डक्टाइल आयरन इट रिक्वायर्स लोअर सल्फर लेवल इट शुड बी बिलो पॉइंट ओ वन फाइव परसेंट वी एड आई द कार्बोराइजर ग्राफाइट पेट्रोलियम को कैरी जी पी सी और शेल को to raise the carbon level in the metal each of them has their own benefits and issues which i am going to talk in this video this will help you to select suitable carbon additives for your foundry in manufacturing of ductile iron here are some of the important factors that can be this deciding factors for carbon additives number 1 is bath sulfur level number 2 carbon recovery number 3 carbon right at first time that is to avoid late addition of carbon optimization of ferro silicon magnesium alloy addition is another important factor consistent carbon and sulfur level with with the same charge mix is another factor which can which can be decidable for choosing carbon additives productivity that is melt rate is very important in the carbon additive deciding factors power consumption is also important factor for deciding carbon additives so let us start with the carburizer carburizers here the sulfur level is about 0.2 to 0.25% it increases the addition of magnesium alloy which increases the cost of melting carburizer most of the time gives the late recovery of carbon and sulfur which puts you in problem later recovery of carbon that is late recovery of carbon will push you for the late addition of carburizer thus increasing the power consumption and reducing production and also give variation in the final carbon rating so the final carbon is inconsistent in the case of late addition of carburizer recovery of carburizer is almost 75 to 80% this also many times sticks to the lining and also floats on the metal surface of the furnace which reduces its recovery thus getting consistent carbon recovery become a challenge in the case of carburizer let us talk about shell coke shell coke has minimum or almost zero sulfur level however shell coke recovery is very less it is about 50% which gives you challenges in optimizing the power consumption and the productivity because of its low recovery also it has some safety issues as it gets fire in the air so supplier adds some water or moisture in the shell coke to avoid such fire or burning issue this will make it more difficult for the melter to optimize the power consumption productivity and recovery with the shell coke now we will talking about gpc that is graphite petroleum coke gpc has own uh, has lower sulfur content it is about 0.05% graphite granules are better option to add as a carburizer in ductile iron as it is having lowest sulfur content and higher carbon recovery its carbon recovery is about 90 to 94% graphite petroleum coke in the granule form gives you a better recovery than that of powder form it gives consistent recovery and pick up so that your magnesium alloy can be reduced uh, magnesium alloy addition can be reduced and optimize power consumption productivity and recovery of carbon avoid late addition of carbon always avoid late addition of carbon as it takes minimum 5 to 7 minutes to get dissolved properly in the bale also late addition of carbon give rise to additional sulfur level which is difficult to tackle with existing addition of magnesium alloy hence many times after late addition of carbon we get various composition variations such as low carbon or high carbon than specification higher sulfur lower magnesium res residual magnesium or low magnesium recovery 
Conclusion Carburizer will be having inconsistent carbon and sulfur recovery and more chances of late addition of carbon and more magnesium alloy addition. It also gives you higher power consumption and lower productivity as well. Shell coke is good for low sulfur content, but the recovery of the carbon is very less, which affects your productivity and power consumption. It also gives challenges in safety due to its burning nature in the air. GPC will give you a lower and consistent sulfur and carbon recovery. GPC also gives you lesser magnesium alloy consumption because of its low sulfur content. So GPC is always preferred over other two options for raising the carbon in the metal in ductile and production. So this is from our side. Thank you very much for your patient hearing. Thank you.